All right, let's get right into it, man. We have a special, special guest on the line, and he called this, man. I thought he was going to be chilling, playing mad. I'm like, he's not going to waste time with those jabronis out here on the West Coast. But Jaquaski Tart, former 49er, strong safety, hard hitter, uh, spent his entire career with the Niners. Uh, the Eagles just released him, so he's got some time on his hands here. We'll see if he wants to play ball or not. But Jaquaski Tart on the morning roll here on 95-70 game with nice guy Stephen Langford and Bonte Hill. Jaquaski, good morning, my man. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? We're good, man. We're good. We're ready for week one of the NFL season. What are you up to right now after the unfortunate news with the Philadelphia Eagles last week? Uh, I'm I'm chilling right now. I'm uh, at home. Uh, just bought a house in Texas, so I'm I'm chilling. Oh man, so you got a house in Texas, and uh, where at in Texas? South Texas, East Texas, West Texas, Dallas, da and Dallas. Oh, oh, the Metroplex. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear great things about Dallas. It's the Madden game. I know you're a big Madden player. How you feel about the new Madden right now? Because I'm not feeling it right now. The passing game, a little janky right now. I actually love it. Uh, the past three years, I haven't played, so I mean, I, I guess I'm. I'm getting a, a new feel for the game, so I think I, I actually love it. All right, yeah, I got to work on my passing skills on the PS5, <laughs> man, the meters or whatnot. I oh like the last man, but uh, this one, this new one's got me going on here. So, so what? As you're in Dallas right now and you're playing some new Madden, are you looking to play football again? Are you, you still got something left in the tank? Because I think you got a lot left in the tank. Oh yeah, no doubt. I mean, at this point in my career, I mean, I, I think it's. It's more about the business side of football. I mean, it's, you know, it's a lot of stuff out there about, you know, me not, you know, being able to perform at a high level, but that's, you know, it's, it's the business side. And when, it, when you reach the business side, it's all about opportunity. Right. I assume I would have opportunity in Philadelphia, but from day one, that wasn't, that wasn't what it was. So at the end of the day, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm all about just chilling until the right situation occurs. When you were practicing with the team in Philadelphia, in Philadelphia Jaquaski, I was wondering, what's the biggest difference that you saw with the way that Philadelphia and the Eagles had ran their training camp versus the 49ers and how they run practice and things in training camp? Uh, I would say they, they, gave, they gave a lot of time off, actually. They, they allowed you to, to truly rest your body, which is a great thing. I, I like how they handle things on that aspect of camp. But I, I think far as when, it, when, it's, when you practice, it's, it's the same. It was the same as San Fran. You know, Jaquaski, we're talking to Jaquaski Tart, former strong safety with the 49ers, had a lot of good years. And and, and look, would you be open? Because a lot of people, we see Jimmy Ward out, your brother, Jimmy Ward, he's out for the first four weeks with a hamstring injury. And a lot of people immediately, once they saw you, especially Niner fans, saw you get released by the Eagles, they thought, man, bringing Tart back to San Francisco is a natural fit. Has there been any conversations? Has John Lynch called you? Have you called John Lynch? What's going on with that one? And would you be open to coming back to the Bay Area? <laughs> uh, I mean, I've talked to the coaches, but it's, it's been nothing official. But uh, as far as that situation, it's for the right price. Of course, I'll be back. But at, at the end of the day, if it's not for the right price, I'm definitely not going back. It's For me, it's just, you know, as far as yeah. what makes sense, putting my body through a lot for a minimum is kind of like, you know, I'm, I made enough money. I'm very fortunate to be able to play the game and be, mm -hmm. be with the 49ers for seven years. So, uh, it's like I say, it's just the right situation. If it's the right situation for me, I'll do it. If not, like I'm, I'm good where I'm at. So basically, the bag has to be right, but you would be open and putting on that red and gold again if the bag was right. Yes, sir. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Now, and obviously, the bag isn't right there uh, because obviously you moved on there. Were you disappointed when you didn't resign with the 49ers this offseason? No, not really. I mean, it's again, it's it's a business, and uh, you got Young Huff there, T. Moore. They got guys. You know, they they want to get an opportunity to, and I think they deserve it. And I think I think they're good with it too for our safeties. I think those guys are, uh, will will play out well for them. You know, there's been a lot that's been made of the quarterback situation here uh, in San Francisco, you know, with Trey Lance being the starter. Jimmy Garoppolo didn't know where he was going to end up. They ended up re-signing him to a, a new deal. What was Trey and Jimmy's relationship like uh, within the locker room when you were part of the team last year? I mean, it was always uh, it was always a good relationship, man. I mean, everybody, I mean, that's one thing about the culture. that Everybody treats each other like brothers. So it's, it's never, I mean, what the media make things out to be, the media kind of, you know, make things out to be a lot of different things but it's, a, it's always been like a brotherhood yeah no doubt about that 
Go ahead to uh, Jaquaski Tart here on the morning. We're also on 95 7 the game. A lot of people making a big deal about the captain stuff. We'll get to that a little bit later. But you talk about you be open to come in here or whatnot. Take us through the offseason, though, because after the NFC Championship game, it was a tough loss to the LA Rams. I was down there at SoFi Stadium. We're all disappointed. You guys were so close, like you were, like you were in 2019. But a lot of people point to you and try to blame you for that one play to drop the interception. And I remember how it affected you during the game. How tough was it to navigate during the off season with a lot of people just coming at you on Twitter, social media? Take us through that as an athlete, especially after a big loss like that in the NFC Championship game. Uh, actually, I mean, when you uh, just going back on that, it's it's more. I was showing more love than hate. I mean, obviously, I uh, I mean, you can it's it, it's whatever you choose to look at. But right. of course, it's it's trolls. But again, it's trolls like. At the end of the day, like those people don't matter. It's people who trolling. So I mean, I get it. I hell, I was even more disappointed. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I think that situation it was just a lot more love shown than hate. Actually, Jaquaski, I've been seeing here on your Instagram that at the end of May you were at a concert with Trey Lance and and Trey Sermon. I believe the artist was No Cap. Are you? Uh, do you still keep up with some of these players here on the Niners? Yeah, for sure. I mean, like I say, it's, it's a brotherhood, man. Mm -hmm. A lot of those guys, you know, they brothers for life. So, I mean, that, those relationships last for a lifetime. Joukowsky Tart here on the Morning Russell 95-7 game. When you walked off that field at SoFi Stadium in the NFC Championship game, did you feel like it? And maybe it was tough to process at that moment after you lose a game like that. But did it feel like, man, this, this may be it for me in the red and gold? Oh, for sure. I mean, I I, I knew that, but it, it sucks only because you know it, it ended in a loss. But right. I mean, just going back to that play, I I that play was a momentum play. I'm like, this is my chance, you know, to to uh, to bring the team some momentum, and you know, I, it was a drop or whatever. But at the end of the day, like, I mean, we ended up losing the game, and yeah, that's it's history. Uh, have you watched the game back? Yeah, I have. How's it feel, though? Because I, I watched it, and I kind of turned it off there with about five minutes left. I mean, yeah, look, it's, it's tough, man. It's just a tough situation. It's, I mean, at the end of the day, definitely wanted to catch that ball, and I did. So, I mean, it's just a tough situation. It's tough. You brought up momentum because a lot of, you know, you, you get some analytic geeks, and you get some people who don't believe in momentum. I believe in momentum. I mean, I didn't play at a high level really? like you did, but it was real. And I remember being in that stadium when that play happened. And the next play, Beckham gets a 30-yard catch. Ward gets a 15-yard penalty. So you talk about the momentum. I, did you feel like that game at that point was like, man, I, we let it slip away. That was the game. You Do you honestly believe if you come up with that interception that that game is over? Uh, I mean, I, don't, I really can't say that. But I just know with momentum how things can go with momentum. You know, it's like you, you once you – it's like putting your – we up, and it's like we would have been putting our uh, foot on their neck at that point, you know? Yeah. But, I mean, who's to say, you know, they, they do something to create momentum. Like, Jalen, right. he ended up dropping the pick. So, it's like mm -hmm. many different things could have went, could have happened after my pick. But at the end of the day, like, it didn't happen. So, right. I mean, again, I dropped it, and that's 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 what it was. Jaquaski, a lot's been uh, made today specifically about the captains that have been named for this team. Kyle Shanahan named six of them yesterday, and one of them was not Trey Lance. And people are up in arms about it, thinking that Trey's not the guy. If they're not naming him the captain, is he really the leader? I mean, does it matter if someone's named a captain or not? No, nah, not, not at all. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's a bunch of leaders in that locker room. So, I, I mean, it's, you know, you got to name captains to the team, but I think a lot of people on that team is, you know, definitely a leader. Chukwaski Tart here on the morning Russell ninety five seven the game. You've watched it from afar. You were in that locker room. Nice guy asked you earlier about the locker room dynamic between Trey Lance and Jimmy Garoppolo. And this all season has been nauseating about the quarterbacks and psychoanalyzing Trey Lance or whatnot. It, Trey Lance, you saw him up close and personal last year. You practice against him. How ready is he to be the starting quarterback for the 49ers, especially this Sunday against the Chicago Bears? Well, from what I've seen, his his mentality and mindset, his you know, he's he's very hungry. He's eager to work and get better, and that's something you want to see in somebody. You know, with you know, as far as just the media loving up and just him being a high draft pick, and right. he's everything you want in the quarterback. So I think, I mean, I I think he's gonna get there, and he's gonna, you know, he's gonna do what's expected. But again, you you definitely need patience. Mm -hmm. He hasn't been a, a full time starter yet, and I think 
uh, fans need to be more patient when it comes to that. Yeah, it's tough for fans to be patient. You know, fan is short for fanatic, Chukwaski. Uh As far as Jimmy Garoppolo, you surprised to see number 10 back in the Bay Area after his offseason, his surgery, all the noise last season, going through the season, you guys start 3-5, and five, and now he's back in red and gold. Are you a little surprised to see that? Yeah, for sure. I mean, that was, I mean, that's, I mean, once you heard they moving with Trey Lance, you, you automatically assume he's going to be gone. So, yeah, I was definitely surprised. You think Jimmy, in his mind, is thinking that he's a starter, starting quarterback? Because I think what gets undersold about Jimmy is that, oh, well, he's not a competitor or whatnot. You know, a lot of heat that he gets. How competitive yeah, is Jimmy Garoppolo? <laughs> I mean, he's the ultimate competitor. I mean, of course, he's, I mean, I know he for sure know he's a starter. And at the end of the day, for me, like my first two years with San Francisco, you know, we, we wasn't good at all. Mm -hmm. And then once we made a trade for him, he come in and, and start, we we automatically become a winning organization. So that has right. a lot to, you know, say about Jimmy and what kind of competitor he is. And lastly, before we let you go, that locker room, that culture in the locker room with the 49ers and John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan, can you speak to the culture that you guys have? Because despite the rough times early in the season last year, you guys still advanced to the NFC Championship game. Can you maybe discuss the culture and why it's so solid in that locker room? Uh, I mean, you, again, football is it's a business at the end of the day. So it's like when you're able to establish that brotherhood, and, you know, it kind of it kind of takes away from the business side to where you can just go out and compete and have fun and play the game, which which makes which it makes a lot of things a lot easier when you're going out to perform. Right, no doubt. Well, we hope to see you back on the football field soon, man. Any other calls, not just from San Francisco, but any teams out there saying, "Hey, man, Tart, we need you to hit somebody. We need you to hit a tight end or two this season." Like I said, the right situation. Yeah, yeah. it's cause, but again, the right situation for me. Yeah. That's that's what it's about. Well, Jukowski, we appreciate you taking the time out. We really, really do. I think Niner fans wanted to hear from you. A lot of Niner fans still say, hey, man, Jukowski, we can bring him back to safety, man. Bring him back, bring him back. Mm. But as you said, man, you got to do what you got to do, and the business has to exactly. be right. So I can't I can't knock that. You want your bag. You think you feel like you deserve your bag. I can't knock that, Jukowski. For sure. You got to know you're worth in this world. And if you don't, you know, you can be out there lost. No doubt about that. Well, you enjoy the new mat, and you enjoy your new house down in Dallas. We'll be thinking about you. And look, man, we appreciate the time today, man. I think a lot of fans appreciate it. Appreciate y'all, man. Y'all have a good one. You too. Jaquaski Tart here on the Morning Rose on 95.7 The Game.